Hello everyone, I am Zumi Fiasco. Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. If you are a new visitor, big ups for tuning in and again, welcome. For a lot of casual and new Red Dead Online players, Free Roam is the road less traveled. Because of this, players miss out on what Free Roam offers, what players can benefit from while partaking in it, and so on. It's not their fault necessarily though, there's a lot of content new and old for all players to participate in. For example, there are the Land of Opportunities missions, Stranger missions, and Frontier Pursuits roles that all serve as distractions and make Free Roam feel like more or less a waste of time. However, for veteran players, Free Roam is a fundamental part of their core Red Dead Online experience, and because of this there are some tricks that only the experienced veteran players have learned along the way and still use to this day. These are 7 Free Roam tricks you still don't know. Free Roam trick number one, the campless free core refills. Some of you watching may already have the proper camp upgrades to cook your own food and refill your cores. I know the veterans for sure do, but a lot of players simply don't. Not that long ago, we veterans used free drinks and food from a few of the local camps in main towns to feed our famished outlaw bodies and quench our thirst. If refilling your cores for free sounds good to you, stop by the local camp in Blackwater where you can grab yourself some free stew and coffee. Also, if you're near Valentine, you can grab stew from the local camp there as well. And if your horse is in need of a kip up after a long ride, you can stop by Braithwaite Manor and grab as many apples as you can carry from the free unlimited supply located there. Oh, and it's worth mentioning before moving on, do not forget about complimentary snacks at Saloon because you can get free cashews and deviled eggs which both also refill your cores for free. Free roam trick number two, the non-limiting lantern equip method. I know it's a mouthful, but this one not only doubles as a fashion statement, but it will also change your immersion in Red Dead Online. In order to perform this method, it is actually very simple. All you have to do is equip your lantern and then draw a sidearm. From there, aim at your horse and then mount your horse. Once you're mounting your horse, watch the animation and as your character gets seated, equip both of your sidearm weapons, your main hand and your offhand. Once you do this, it tricks the game and messes up the animation. Luckily for us players, this means the lantern gets attached to your belt and stays on your hip indefinitely until you re-equip it and put it back into your inventory. And that's it, the non-limiting lantern equip method. Alright, moving on, trick number three, the sold out mechanic bypass. If you've ever had to restock on ammo after taking out a griefer posse in free roam or maybe pile up on some provisions when you're too lazy to hunt, you may have noticed by now that you can only buy so much of each item from general stores before the item you're purchasing gets smacked with the sold out label leaving you no option to buy any more of it. Fortunately though, there is a trick that allows you to bypass this minor inconvenience and you can buy as much of any item you like. The next time you need a surplus amount of ammo, provisions, or even tonics, simply open your personal catalog, go to the desired item and spam by as much as you like. What happens when you do this is any extra of the item that you purchase and cannot hold in your inventory will be sent to all post offices around the map and to your camp for you to stop by and restock at any time through the collect deliveries option. Now if you're away from your game you can also use the catalog from the Wheeler Ross and Company website when you're on the go. This trick saves countless trips to the stores and shops in game and makes things a lot easier on you overall. Alright you legend you've made it halfway. Trick number four, the fast travel safe haven. This next trick serves multiple purposes, but the main one is griefer repellent. Veterans in Red Dead Online know that each of the several fast travel posts located through main towns and locations serve as protection when needed. When you access any fast travel post, your character will become invincible so long as you are in the fast travel menu. From the perspective of other players around you, your character appears as a blurred silhouette that can no longer be targeted or damaged. Since the fast travel posts grant momentary invincibility, you you can use this to your advantage if other players are harassing you. Or if someone pisses you off, you can kill them and access the fast travel menu to avoid them. Then they're stuck standing there looking stupid waiting for you to exit the menu so they can try and get their revenge. Once you have the fast travel menu pulled up, you can simply remain in the area you are located in and wait for the players to get restless and leave you alone, or you can fast travel away and leave the toxicity for another time. Veterans have this trick down because before the frontier pursuits amongst other additional content were added to Red Dead Online, the nature of the game was so toxic and griefing was rampant. The fast travel post offered a guaranteed safe haven for players that were victims of this type of behavior from other players. Free roam trick number 5, the lasso execution loop. 
The lasso is often used as something to troll players or catch bounty targets, but what most players don't realize is that the lasso can serve as a great weapon for guaranteed executions against your enemies or targets. To do this trick, equip your lasso and wait out your target until they get into lasso range. When the timing is right and they are close enough, lasso them to the ground and once they hit the ground, release your lasso and pull it back in. Next, you want to rush the target and tackle them before they get the chance to regather themselves and shoot at you. Once you've tackled the target, spam the dismiss button to let them go before committing to the hogtie. As soon as your character lets go, switch off to the weapon you want to perform an execution with and run behind the target as they are getting up off the ground. This next part is important. Immediately once they have regained their footing, perform an execution from behind by pulling the trigger or hitting them with a melee weapon. This trick is surprisingly effective and can win you several fights simply because most players won't expect it or know how to react. Be careful and don't try and do this whenever your target sees it coming or you may catch a shot between the eyes before even getting the initial lasso toss off. This is also not a very viable option when you have more than one person gunning for you, so keep that in mind. Apart from those two things, enjoy this trick and outplay your opponents in style. Free roam trick number six, disconnectionless inactivity. If you've ever got up to take a drink or to use the restroom while playing Red Dead on online and ended up distracted for whatever reason, taking more time than you intended to, upon returning you may have seen this message. And if you have, then you know what it's like to be kicked for inactivity. This is a countermeasure implemented into Red Dead Online so that players can't be online gaining some sort of benefit like XP without actually being active online. An example of when you'd want to be online without having to do anything could be doing work within the trader role and the new moonshiner role. In these roles, you spend a lot of time waiting around for goods to be ready for a sale and moonshine to accumulate over time while it's being cooked. You must be connective and active online for these to progress over time and eventually be ready. If you're not online, your progress stands still and remains stagnant. When you're waiting, sometimes you simply don't feel like being forced to play and you want to avoid doing anything altogether because you just don't feel like it. With this trick, you'll be able to do exactly that. To do this trick, simply access any catalog in the game, whether it's your personal catalog or a catalog at one of the various in-game shops. You will remain online indefinitely. Rockstar loves their money, and at any time you seem to be looking to spend yours, they will allow you to remain online. Or at least that's how it seems. As long as you have a catalog open, you will remain online. You will never be prompted with an alert timer for inactivity, so you do not have to worry about getting disconnected when you're not doing anything at all. And last, but certainly not least, free roam trick number seven, utilizing the free roam event schedule. Whether you have a daily challenge prompting you to participate in a random free roam event, or you favor one and enjoy playing it every time you see it in rotation, the free roam event tracker is at your disposal and can be accessed at any time. This schedule seriously comes in handy for any given play session when you're trying to grind and participate in specific events in between long trader sales or other various missions you participate in. Check out the link in the description for full unlimited access access to the schedule so you never miss an event and you can plan for each one accordingly based on your personal preference. While this trick may be short and sweet, it's definitely going to serve you well in Red Dead Online Free Roam.